Let's give this thing a go. Put it. It sounds aggressive. It sounds fast and furious. Let's try. Shows 160. Let's do 160. Whoa! This thing's got, I guess, the pipes on here or something. Is that what? That's a stock exhaust or not? I gotta find out. It doesn't sound stock. It sounds like a race car. Let's go straight. Definitely got some go with it. Handles good. Yeah, oh yeah, this thing handles tight. Like a performance car. Hello, welcome to Paul's Take. This is a 2006 Infinity FX35. Has about 115,000 miles on it. It's powered by a 3.5 liter V6 that gets 17 city and 23 highway. It has 280 horsepower. It's got really nice tires, aggressive tires. This is more like a uh, sports SUV. We had two 65s, 50s on a 20 inch wheel. It's sleek and sexy. Dual exhaust. Ah, nice back. I wouldn't say a lot of cargo area, but like I said, this is a sports SUV. It's got a cool bag, a baby bag. I wonder what's in there. So we got a button here, I'm not sure what that does. So there's the uh, wild birds and this little door. Power seats, leather, infinity. Oh yeah. You close the door, the seats automatically go to your position. Okay. Here's all the gauges. Lights up all nice and pretty. All wheel drive. 14,000 miles on it. You got your controls that are, these are all high tech for 2006. Yeah, it's a little dated, but still looks good though. Very comfortable. And it's got a, an actual display. I'm sure it's touch screen or not. It might have been pre touch screen. Let's turn this car on because it's hot in here. So this one does not have, you don't need a key. I mean, the key, it's got a key fob. It's not push button, but it's just you turn it without the key. You don't need the key to turn it on. Right, which is unique. Maybe not for the day. Ooh, that does. Oh, this pod controls the. Ooh, the steering wheel. In and out. Up and down. Oh, the whole thing moves. Check this out. So the whole instrument panel moves. So up. That's pretty neat. That's unique. Never seen that before. In and out. So the steering wheel itself goes in and out, but the whole dashboard moves. That is pretty cool. Never seen that before. Got snow mode. And here's your radio. Pretty cool. I like this clock here. Classic looking. OG style. And I like these uh, this chrome accent where it's, it feels, it feels like real chrome on there. It's really neat. I like the Hello Kitty, very important. Heated seats. Has your light down here. Get a spot for your index. Driver up or down. Oh, the controls temperature. Nice, nice. And this one has a sunroof. Still works after what was it 15 years now? I love it. Japanese reliability. Let's go for a drive. It does have a sports trunk, so you hit it over here, go up gear, down a gear. See like manual shifting. Keep it in drive for now. We'll try that in a second. We'll not go into the uh, 
We won't do the mud test today. Ooh, fed both system, both speakers. Very nice, very nice. if it has the exhaust on here. It seems pretty loud. Drive to the sunset. So for car, because I know it's the cars that are older, it's tend to tend to lose kind of the handling. And I bet when this was newer, it probably was a lot more tight. And uh, but it still still feels very sure, very comfortable. Feels feels good. Feels like a luxury car, that's for sure. It definitely cruises. Feels a little, got a little bit of a heavier feel to it, I think. But it handles, it's like real slick here. We'll go, we'll get it straight away. We'll do the, uh, we'll see if it's aligned correctly. Okay, so go, go to alignment. Driving straight. Of course, the road is not straight. I think it pulls a little bit to the right, but I think. I think we're low on air on one of the tires. I think it's probably be it. Yeah, this is cool though. I always wanted to drive one of these. I bet you this thing will keep on going for a while. This is no sign of like the engine sounds tight. The body feels tight. There's no rattling. Solid. It's uh, in a good way. A cushy. Cushy, uh, luxurious, higher end way. Yeah, the ride definitely is a uh, is good. I got a feeling you could drive this all day. It feels nice and cozy. I'd like to thank Tanika for letting me borrow it. She's my buddy from work. Definitely ride smooth, straight, comfortable. I've driven a lot of newer cars lately. This one's the first premium. And this one is 15 years old, and you definitely feel the premium components. You know, even turn signals feel nice and like firm, like really like confident, inspiring, like it's solid. Like it's going in there. It's there. It clicks nice and tight. Okay, after driving for a little while, I'm still really appreciating the vehicle. Um, I think the exhaust is too loud for my taste. I think these are aftermarket pipes. I'm going to find out. Because it's a little loud. It kind of takes away from the refinement of the vehicle. I think it should be a little more just cruising. I mean, if you want, like, if you like the throaty exhaust, which I do generally. I think generally I do in a sporty car. This is sporty. It's an SUV. But it's also an infinity which to me is luxurious. I think this should be more of a luxury than a sports car, even though it handles really good and cruises really well. It's a little loud, but maybe with the music on, blasting, maybe I wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me as much. It's kind of cool when you punch it and you go like this. <laughs> Ay, caramba. That's good, that's fun. I wonder how that island is outside. All right, so my take, I like it. This is a great car. I think, uh, I wonder I wonder how much it costs to service these things. That's probably my biggest concern about a vehicle like this. Would it cost a lot? Because if you can get one of these for, probably get it for a pretty good deal. It's probably got still a lot of life in it. But if it costs a lot to get it serviced, oil changes or just like brake job and simple stuff, I wonder if it's expensive. I have no idea. That would be something I would be uh, looking into if I'm considering one of these vehicles. But if, the, if it's not out of control, crazy, maybe it's not because it's older, but if it's not bad to service this thing, um, I would say this would be a cool car to find. Because like I said, you can probably get one for a good deal. And it does uh, feels 
really nice. And there's definitely a lot of tech in this. The power, everything, power seats, power instrument panel, heated seats, bow system. All right, thanks for listening or watching Paul's take, and that's my take on the Infinity FX35, I think it was. It even has a reverse cam. I can't believe it. 2006. It's a long time ago. My vehicle is a 2012 and only dreams about a backup camera. Hmm. Pretty nice. What I say, it's nice.